most of us in terrace gardening we think we always think in the way that there is one plant per one pot or one plant per one container but we have to think beyond uh, one plant per one, one pot uh, something like see all of us in permaculture know about the seven layers so you could actually bring in different layers even in rooftop gardening probably three or even if you're smart enough four layers now i show you some very simple tip here these are all eggplants the aubergines that are growing in these buckets it's a very small bucket probably about uh, 12 to 15 liters to its capacity this bucket is enough to grow aubergines brinjals that is so but what I'm also doing in these is I'm going to introduce some spinach that is palak all around this aubergines now what would happen the aubergine this this eggplant will grow into this height probably a bush and you will have all aubergines but in a, uh, in the bottommost layer in the horizontal layer the bottommost layer you will have spinach which grows about just about 3 4 inches high so you have two layers you have stacked two layers already now i am going to do something else which is what is this? this is an onion not a sambar onion exactly but i am going to introduce one or two onions also around uh, not to harvest onions later but i would prefer uh, the onion stalks the greens but this will also help as a as some pest control the onion stalks and this is actually another root layer so i get some onion uh, green uh, the, the greens of the onions as a harvest I have palak which is another layer, I have the eggplant which is another layer. Now one really interesting thing that I always do with spinach that this, this actually happened as an experiment and you must have heard with a lot of our friend, my friends, uh, even DJ must have uh, spoken about this in a lot of uh, videos probably. Their palak and uh, coriander goes really well together and coriander acts as a pest control mechanism along with uh, palak what happens because of the fragrance of uh, coriander uh, there is no there, no other pests or any other uh, uh, nothing nothing eats your spinach away so that's a really good uh, you know combination where your palak always remains fresh and so i just introduced some spinach here and then coriander and two onions and I am going to introduce the same in the second container also. So if you could just clo come closely, just come close by and have a look at what I did with the other containers too. So you could see this is all palak all around. I'm putting so I have an onion here, so I'll have an onion on the other side, then I'll have an onion on the outer side. Probably put it inside. I'll have one more here. It's a cool thing to do. I'm going to add some coriander, some more coriander into all these. So that is how it is. Covering your seeds is most important. So you put a layer of everything. Just cover your seeds. Just as thick as the seed. You could just cover it. So
so that's it just water and enjoy and uh, i will do a video of this once uh, probably a month later or something once the aubergines are high enough and probably fruiting and then you'll have palak there underneath you will see the onions also so i i will be doing a video of this again and you'll have the coriander as well so this is how you you need to get you need to have a good thorough and good and thorough understanding of companion planting and understand the root systems what happens now i i said i am going to just take the greens of the onions because what happens if you disturb the root structure uh, probably like if you if you just pick out the onion what happens is it will disturb the root structure of the aubergine so you, after you understand companion planting you you really have to understand the root relations between each plant and the nutrition requirements in this particular thing what happens is uh, greens take away a lot of nitrogen so palak as it grows it will, it is going to take away a lot of nitrogen from this particular container and you have to make sure that the aubergines are not deprived of the nitrogen available so make sure you use good compost tea make sure you stack in a lot of nitrogen in your compost mix initially uh you 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 did see in in the other video that i have uh, what the what what kind of soil mix that i'm using so that sh that should be pretty much it thank you i hope you enjoy this video please do subscribe and there'll be a lot of such tips and there'll be a lot of videos on how to start off and you in the entire channel you'll have a lot of lot more videos to come thank you